Oshkosh Defense has unveiled a new weapon system that could transform the way militaries employ long-range cruise missiles on land. At AUSA 2025 in Washington, D.C., the company introduced the XMAV, or Extreme Multimission Autonomous Vehicle, a heavy, armored, and autonomy-ready launcher configured to carry four Tomahawk cruise missiles. Unlike traditional containerized systems, which rely on tractor-trailer combinations, the XMAV integrates off-road mobility, reduced signature, and advanced autonomy capabilities into a single-purpose-built platform. Its debut signals a shift in thinking about land-based cruise missiles, emphasizing mobility, survivability, and dispersed operations as much as range and firepower. The timing of the XMAV's public appearance is significant. Washington and Kiev are reportedly engaged in detailed technical discussions regarding a potential transfer of Tomahawk missiles to Ukraine. If such a move occurs, pairing Tomahawks with a mobile, armored launcher like the XMAV could dramatically extend Kiev's ability to strike deep behind enemy lines while complicating Russian targeting calculations. For Ukraine, this capability could threaten logistics hubs, command centers, fuel depots, and air defense nodes far from the front, all while keeping launchers mobile and hard to target. At the same time, the United States and its allies would need to manage escalation risks carefully, balancing operational utility with strategic restraint. The XMAV is the largest member of Oshkosh's family of multi-mission autonomous vehicles, designed to support Army modernization priorities such as long-range precision fires, resilient formations, and scalable autonomy. Its design includes a robust off-road chassis, integrated power systems, and an open, payload-agnostic architecture capable of accommodating the heaviest missiles in service. In contrast to the Typhon system, which mounts four missiles in a 40-foot container for roadbound transport, the XMAV is armored and optimized for cross-country maneuverability. This provides greater operational flexibility, allowing rapid repositioning, shorter setup and teardown times, and enhanced concealment in difficult terrain. The combination of armor, mobility, and reduced signature makes it well-suited for contested environments where speed, stealth, and survivability are critical. Autonomy is another key feature of the XMAV. The vehicle is prepared to accept autonomy suites that allow remote or optionally crewed operation, silent watch modes, and potentially autonomous reloading processes. This capability reduces personnel exposure to enemy fire, increases endurance during surveillance or standby missions, and supports the Army's common autonomous multi-domain launcher, heavy, CAMLH, concept, which prioritizes flexible payloads and autonomous logistics. By integrating these systems, the XMAV represents a platform capable of shoot-and-scoot operations, firing missiles and relocating before an adversary can detect or target it. In modern battlefields with dense air defense networks, this mobility and autonomy can be as decisive as missile range itself. Tomahawk missiles remain a cornerstone of long-range strike capability. Block 4 and V variants offer ranges around 1,600 km, subsonic cruise flight, in-flight retargeting, and terrain-following guidance. The Block V variants include maritime strike seekers and multi-effect warheads for hardened land targets. Launching tomahawks from land requires adapted canisters and a dedicated ground-based fire control system rather than the vertical launch systems used aboard ships. The XMAV accommodates these technical requirements while adding mobility, allowing the missiles to be deployed in dispersed, hard-to-target configurations. This gives commanders greater flexibility in striking deep and responding to shifting operational conditions. Compared with containerized approaches, the XMAV addresses key limitations. The Typhon system has demonstrated the feasibility of land-launched tomahawks, but its Tractor Plus container design is less effective in soft or rugged terrain, limits concealment, and requires prepared routes. Oshkosh's armored, cross-country vehicle reduces these vulnerabilities, providing shorter reaction times, greater dispersion options, and the ability to operate in forested or urban peripheries. This blend of mobility, protection, 
and payload flexibility allows for sustained deep strike operations without the reliance on fixed bases or naval platforms, bridging a capability gap between intermediate range army systems and strategic, long range options. For Europe and potential Ukrainian deployment, a mobile Tomahawk launcher changes the operational calculus. It forces adversaries to track a dispersed, low signature platform, complicating targeting and requiring greater investment in surveillance, air defense, and rapid response measures. It also allows land forces to project significant strike power without depending on ships or aircraft, giving operational commanders the freedom to plan long-range fires from locations that were previously unsuitable for containerized systems. In effect, the XMAV merges the Navy's magazine depth with the Army's maneuverability, providing a new layer of flexibility in modern conflict scenarios. The strategic implications are significant. A mobility-focused launcher extends the reach of long-range precision fires while enhancing survivability, complicating enemy targeting, and supporting dispersed operational concepts. It signals a shift in doctrine from static launch sites toward maneuverable, survivable platforms capable of rapid deployment and redeployment. As autonomous systems mature, vehicles like the XMAV may operate with minimal crew presence, increasing endurance and enabling new operational concepts. This approach not only strengthens U.S. Army capabilities but also provides allies with a credible pathway for employing long-range, land-based strike systems in contested theaters. Oshkosh's XMAV does not change the underlying physics or range of the Tomahawk missile, nor does it resolve the political complexities surrounding transfers to Ukraine. What it does accomplish is reframe how militaries must think about land-launched cruise missiles, as mobile, armored, and optionally autonomous tools of deep-strike warfare. By emphasizing mobility, survivability, and dispersed employment, the XMAV highlights a future in which long-range strike is not just a matter of reach but also of flexibility, deception, and operational endurance. If these technical capabilities align with policy decisions, the next generation of land-based missile operations may prioritize mobility and concealment as much as payload, redefining strategic planning and alliance considerations for years to come.